uh, so I, I've uh, written my essays for this reason. So I wrote about um, uh, the essay for seminar, Young Girls Were Harmed in the Making of This Dance, because I, I was sick and tired of, of reading these academic uh, writing about Bharatanatyam, where no word, not even one word is given to the young girls who suffered at the hands of their patrons. And uh, uh, in, in a recent conversation, I was again struck by that, is how a, a person can write and not even care that uh, a nine-year-old, 10-year-old, 11-year-old girls were being handed over to uh, grown men, high caste grown men for their sexual pleasure and nobody cared. And I mean, no, nobody seems to care. And they're all concerned about Brahmins doing dance and Brahmins and Devadasi communities not being able to do dance, but nobody was expressing any anger or frustration that this was a system, an institution that uh, allowed men to exploit young girls. And the only person who seemed to be angry about it at the time was Muthalakshmi Reddy. She came from that community. It's, it's uh, in, the, in the recent um, uh, discussion that I heard with Devika in VR Devika in Madras, she was saying that, that a young girl of 13 from the Devadasi community died during pregnancy. And that's what provoked her to action. Why should a 13 year old girl be pregnant in the first place? I mean, it's ridiculous. And just the way we got rid of the institution of child marriage, we got rid of the institution of um, dedication of young girls, the abolition of the dedication. For this reason, it's not okay to exploit young girls whether it's for an art form or whatever you say. And, and uh, in, in that discussion, Amrit Srinivasan equated the dedication of young girls to arrange marriage. But we have a law that prevents uh, young girls from, be, from being forced into an arranged marriage. And what we did at that time in, in I mean, uh, Muta Lakshmi Reddy started in 1927. It wasn't made a law until 1947. It took her 20 years of, of fighting the system. And, you know, it, it horrifies me. It horrifies me. People are so upset by the Me Too thing. Somebody, somebody um, uh, groped a woman's breast in an elevator, and now it's a huge, big case. But why, why are you so concerned about this girl in the elevator and you're not concerned about the young Devadasi girls who, who they came from low caste? They were exploited by high caste men. And it was a system that was um, a system of exploitation. And when it ended, it was a very good thing. And I think people need to... to say that out loud and they see they need to say that loud and clear not oh but the art form oh but what about the the women who liked it yeah you know chinese foot binding the women who did the chinese foot binding were other women and the women who do genital female genital mutilation they're other women. Just because women do it doesn't mean that it's okay. And just because the Devadasi community did it and they were okay with it doesn't mean that it's okay in the in the greater scheme of things. So 